Welcome to a brand new episode, Morning Devotion. We will be looking through the Bible every morning. Today's special guest on your favorite podcast is Reverend Dozi Maname, a pastor, father, and an evangelist who loves the Lord deeply. In this episode, you are going to learn how to begin your day with Jesus through His Word. Today's Morning Devotion, we're going to look at Psalm chapter 1, verse 2. Last time I did only verse 1, and today we're going to look at verse 2. And if you have your Bible with you, please do join me as we look at this verse together. Psalm chapter 1, verse 2. And it says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What the righteous man does in this passage, he says, he delight in the law of the Lord. And his law, he meditates day and night. Throughout Psalms, the phrase law of the Lord is used to describe God's entire word, not only the law, portion of the first five books of the Bible. The righteous man is delighted with the word of God. So the question here this morning is, what makes you happy? What gets you excited? This is a good way to see what is important to you. For example, if personal pleasure is the only thing that makes you happy, then you are selfish or self-centered person. If being with your family or friends delights you, that can be better, but it still falls short. Because this passage says the righteous man find his delight in the law of the Lord, which is the word of God. The Bible. I am not saying your family is not important. Don't quote me wrong. But God's delight is more important than everything. Martin Luther said that he could not live in paradise without the word of God, but he could live well enough in hell with it. Word of God is important because there is delight in it. Our heart was never meant to be a vacuum. If our heart is not filled with the word of God, it will be filled with the worldly activities and things that does not glorify God. We see what is going on in our world today. Immorality is increasing every day, isn't it? Sin is increasing. In fact, it has crept inside the church. It has become the pattern and the culture of the church. If a person delights in something, you don't have to beg him to do it or like it, isn't it? He will do it all by himself. So here, the question is, Nan, can you measure your delight for the word of God by how much you hunger for it? Can you? The verse goes on to say, that in his law, he meditates day and night. In his law, he meditates day and night. The righteous man ponders the word of God. He does not just hear it and forget it. He thinks about it. He meditates on it. He search scriptures, study different translations to make sure he understand it. Christians should meditate on God's word 
Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. So with the word of God, you can see and know your path. Word of God direct us. Word of God help us to be closer to him always. Today, in other religion, they practice meditation, but the goal is to empty the mind. However, this is dangerous because an empty mind may present an open invitation to deception or a demonic spirit. But in Christian meditation, the goal is to fill your mind with the Word of God. This can be done by carefully reading His Word, thinking about it, each word and phrase, applying it to oneself and praying it back to the Lord, the Creator. Many lack because they only read and do not meditate. It is not only reading that does us good, but the soul inwardly feeding on it and digesting it. A preacher once told me that he had read the Bible through 20 times on his knees and had never found the doctrine of election there. Very likely not. It is a most uncomfortable position in which to read. If he had sat in an easy chair, he would have been better able to understand it. So the righteous man only has God's word on his mind two times a day. The passage day says day and night. That covers it all. A word for you to ponder this morning, my brothers and sisters, is how many times do you read your Bible? How many times do you read your Bible in a day? And how many times do you meditate on it? Are you so busy that you don't have time for God? Are you so busy but doing nothing? Are you so busy that you can't read, even if it's just a chapter or a verse from the Bible? Think about it as you begin your day today. May God bless you and keep you always. Amen. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to leave a review. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Also, follow us on Spotify and Google Podcasts. Hit the subscribe now and don't miss the next episode.